Hi, this is JB, and I've just built my latest Skidmark quad. Just so cool. Um, so I'm at the point where I want to place the firmware on this. So everyone's raving on about the Boris B firmware, and I've I've heard it's actually quite good. I've heard it flies well with um, standard default settings. Uh, I just want to give it a try. So I'm just going to talk to you guys through um, what you need to do. So the first thing is just to go on to uh, onto your browser and type in Boris B Boris B blog and we're going to go into the RC groups blog and just scroll down click on continue reading and I'll just zoom up a little bit here so we're just scrolling all the way down to the bottom and there's a link to download firmware. So I'm just going to zoom up on that. Anyway, I hope you could all see that. So it's under download firmware. We click the link and it takes you to the GitHub site where, where his firmware is. So we're just going to go down to um, the Betaflight Naze Hex, which is the one for my particular board. So I'm going to click that. Okay and just wait a little while and it comes up with um, with this raw button so I hope you can all see that now you just right click that guy save link as and just save it onto your hard drive somewhere and just keep a note of where that is ok we're going to save it as Betaflight Nazi 2 ok so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Clean Flight we're going to go load local firmware Okay, so we load local firmware, we press on the NASI 2 hex, open that file, and it said it's loaded the firmware, so we're going to flash the firmware. Okay, so just wait for that. The next thing we're going to do is just do a quick setup on the firmware. So we're going to connect. So there we are, we've got our Okay, what you're going to notice is the, um, the skid mark has actually got the board rotated to 70 degrees. So it's actually not following the picture at the moment. That's one of the things we're going to do. We're just going to configuration. Now we're going to change the yaw adjustment to 270 degrees. Now I like to use motor stop and we want to use one shot 125. And we want to untick that to make sure our motors disarm properly. I also set the throttle to 1900, the maximum, and I'm running PWM, the VBAT is set OK, um, I've got my failsafe turned on, and that's about it, I'm going to save and reboot that, those changes have taken place, yep, OK, so we can see that's now behaving itself, OK. Now what we're going to do is go to the PID tuning. Now I, I highly recommend, uh, Boris has been doing a lot of work on the PID controller 1, which is the multi-Wii rewrite, and the Lux float. And a lot of the good pilots seem to be using the Lux float. It's just a little bit more accurate. So I'm going to use the Lux float. I'm not saying I'm a good pilot. I'm going to use it. I press save. And I know for this model here, it's quite a stiff model. Look, it, in most cases, just stay with the standard um, default values and you should be able to fly just great. But I know with this model here, I can actually boost the P's up to 1.9. Okay. What I also like to do is put a bit of extra um, rates in. So I'm going to put 40% on the pitch, your and roll. And... I'm going to put about 0.3 TPA, so every time you like hit the throttle, you don't want it during. So I'll just put a little bit there and I'll save that. Okay, this is basically my, my standard settings. Um, with the receiver tab, um, now with the TX on and battery plugged in, you need to get these values all between 1000 and 2000. So you do that by changing the end stops on your, um, on your transmitter. Okay, so once that's all done, I like for this particular model, it's like way overpowered, so my throttle midpoint's about 35%. And I'm going to use, let's see, 
I'm going to use about 55% Expo because it's just really hard to control this guy. He's really fast and light. Um, so I'm going to leave it on 70% Expo for the for the roll of the pitch. And I'll leave the yaw component as it is. I'm going to save it. Okay. Look, that's about it. Um, what a lot of people do after that is program your uh, beeper. Okay. So you might want to try the beeper. Now I've only got a four channel control, so I can't do that. But anyway, look, that's that's about it. So anyway, I hope you found that um, information useful. And I hope you don't have any problems going over to Boris. Um, I can't really say I can support you. Uh, there is a thread for the Boris B build. Um, I suggest you just follow that thread. But um, from my impressions, um, it does fly a lot better than the stand clean flight. And it's just a little bit ahead. There's a lot of development going on. If you do want a stable release, go back to, uh, to clean flight 1.10. Um, but if you just want to live on the edge a little bit, uh, Try Boris B.